working here for two months, almost since September, working and living in Leipzig, in the residence area, Leipzig is my art company, and this is the final presentation on our Wundgang show. And my first question would be, what kind of research did you approach while being here in Leipzig? My research was about the, lo uh, about the local landscape, and I tried to uh, observe and develop some some approach to how to landscape uh, landscape painting. So I was looking for some signature elements of, of local uh, local environment, local uh, landscape, and I recognize as most significant. Uh, these uh, spots with mines or uh, former mines, the lakes now. And the second uh, signature uh, element was, uh, was the parks of Leipzig, which are uh, developed in many approaches. Some of them are more wild, uh, some of them are more structured by architects, and I found interesting this connection between the nature and human and human culture. Yeah, this leads us to that word behind us. Maybe we could connect this to our to your first comment. Would you like to say something about the scroll painting you did here in India? Yeah, so scroll painting it's uh, basically uh, some element of uh, rock which appears as, uh, as kind of sculpture and I like to uh, look for these elements in nature, uh, these rocks which, uh, which, has, which has been named uh, by people and it's kind of uh, vulgar, vulgar culture as, as some kind of uh, folk, folk culture and I, I like this, this uh, uh, kind of imagination which is not based on some serious culture heritage but it's more it's more vivid it's more uh, improvisation it's more about improvisation or uh, about what what really uh, the feelings are uh, what are the feelings of the people living in that environment about about what about their fear or about their, their hope they usually project these uh, these issues into that elements if they found some rock looking like the devil's ass or like a devil's table. It, there are some little differences how they name it and if they are afraid uh, if they fear the devil or if they are making fun of, of, of these beasts. Yeah. And I found that interesting and also it's a kind of approach like people uh, people uh, uh, looking on the app, many times are saying like, "Oh, I don't really understand it." And if they approach to the uh, to to the rock, they understand it by looking at it, and it's the same same uh, thing. How we should be able to look at art, just simply look at it and think for yourself what you recognize there. What 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 does your memory connects connects? With uh, in that particular artwork, it doesn't it doesn't matter what the artist wanted to say. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, these forms uh, which I'm uh, trying to create in my paintings are as some support, some platform for imagination of the viewer to be shifted mm -hmm. in certain uh, in certain condition exhibition. We had also been on the excursion to Freiburg. We had seen mineral collections that have been mines there as well, to the silver mine. We had intensive discussions about voice and the energy of materiality. That was something which was also um, driving your know, thinking. So there was a very general connection as well. And of course, we are here in a very industrial area, which is recultivated as a cultural site. So the Spinnerweisen factory, which has been transferred to a Artist place with uh, studios, although all the way around there are like almost English landscape gardens, and then all of a sudden you are in a very industrial landscape area with oak 
open kind of these gardens and many open, yeah, a landscape open to the public. And also with public interventions, with the proper proceedings. Yeah. Like, like finding its way all the way around. And my last question would be, what's the difference between Rund, which is sister city of Leipzig, and the city of Leipzig? Is there something you found special in Leipzig? Is there a big difference between the two cities, or is there something you can't? Oh, uh, I think there is there is definitely some similar personality in in that way with uh, how the the nature how the nature elements are connected to, to uh, into the urban infrastructure and what I found nice uh, uh, about Leipzig that. Uh, the park is actually going all, all the way through the city. Mm -hmm. it, it's not just in the middle of it, like again, what was the situation in Brno. And yeah, I think I, I, it feels to me like these things, which are what I found interesting about, uh, about the city in Brno, it's like shifted here. You have, Many lakes here, may, uh, larger industrial area, which is now public, so we can really approach, uh, approach this area. And yeah, it's like looking through, uh, through uh, looking through shifting glass on the uh, urban urban architecture, and it's more it's more open for public. It's more open for exploring. Yeah, so that's that's definitely something I found interesting. Yeah. It's less uh, mixed with all the other dis destructive elements, destructive for me because I'm trying to to pick up some some evident uh, some points which are really specific for the landscape. So there is a coal mine as a material. I'm using coal, it's specific and it has it has some narrative. It has some agenda. Uh, if you use it in painting, everybody recognizes it. It makes specific uh, specific oil spills into the painting, and yeah, in the parks it's similar. You recognize uh, the wild nature, and you, you uh, recognize the English garden, which is uh, which is structured in a certain strict way, not so strict as French gardens are, but mm -hmm. even so, it's. Here you can see the more wild park there on the uh, there on the south, which is for me the most interesting place. Yeah. With the river. Fantastic. Well, thank you again for being with us, and thank you for seeing all the